Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at the top of Shelton in Stoke-on-Trent again. Um, reporting on something that we've reported on before. Uh, let me tell you guys, it's not good. It is not good at all. So I'm just waiting to cross the road. And then I'm going to sort of get across there where all that is there. Um, just waiting for the cars to let me go. I can go, so I'm going to cross here. Um, here we go, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this here. Look at all that. Look at these. There's about... I'm going to say, I bet there's about 500 of these cups here. Coffee and chai. Now, the coffee and chai place is just there. Uh, look at all this. Oh, my God. Now, since the last time we came, um, it is actually worse. Now, uh, since the last time we came, we've been contacting the local council. Um, emails. Um... Yeah, we are being watched, guys, but, yeah, that's just the way it is. So, we have been emailing the council. We've sent them the footage that we've picked up. Uh, nothing's been done since then. Now, the emails we've sent out are to... Jane Ashworth. Jane Ashworth, the, the, le leader. the leader of Stoke-on-Trent Council. She's ignored us. And? And the local council, councillor, for... Um, Shelton itself, which is Amjad Wazir OBE. That guy has got an OBE, and we've sent him the actual footage from around here, and nothing's been done. And sometimes I can get a little bit of rap for criticizing the council, um, and I know it's not their mess, but they haven't, you know, with seeing this sort of footage that I've been giving them, and they haven't even responded they haven't even said thanks for your email we are looking into it they've ignored us completely ignored us and nothing is being done uh, there's absolutely everything in here guys this isn't even the tip of the iceberg uh, really isn't now as you can see there's a lot of cars parked up here um, a lot of taxis pull up here now I suspect and don't quote me on this because I could be wrong this is just my opinion this is just what I think I think the taxis pull up here I think they empty the cars out I think when they've been to the chai place around there to grab himself a drink they're throwing all the rubbish there's a deal going on down, down the side um, we think there's a deal going down on the bottom down there which we're going to sort of stay away from <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't want to get shot, stabbed whatever but look at this guys uh, yeah so I'm going to go into it but I've got my boots on guys and um, we can see more of these chai coffee cups there um, like I said don't quote me on what I think is the problem around here and where the rubbish is coming from um, and who's doing it uh, that's just my opinion it's just what I think um, I could be wrong I could be right, I don't know. Uh, but this has been going on for a long time now, guys. We've been, we, we live just down the road from this. This is on our doorstep, uh, almost, it is. Oh my God, it's terrible, isn't it, guys? It's terrible. I think there's literally just everything dumped here, but a lot of drinks, see? More, more coffee and chai down there. Um, I haven't even started across the road yet. It's probably more than this across the road. Look at that. It is absolutely terrible. Oh my God. You can see more coffee and chai up there. This is definitely rubbish that has come out of cars. Now, I put a suggestion in to uh, Mr. Wazir that he should cut this road off here and make it access only to stop the cars pulling up and dropping all the rubbish down here just make it access only obviously as you can see nothing's been done 
Uh, nothing at all, not even a clean up guys, not even a litter pick by the council, absolutely nothing. And what there is around here now is a lot of these cream deluxe gas cans, what they are, tooting, there's a lot of them. Um, there's more down there as well. There's more just in here. There is. I'm gonna walk over sort of this part here. Um, we are being watched by a lot of dodgy characters guys but we're gonna carry on regardless there uh, we are uh, more more um, gas tooting now it's you know you've got to think of the impact on the environment diseases things like that that can come from this I shall definitely be washing my hands as uh, soon as we we're sort of done here there's bread there that looks quite fresh I would say that that was dumped last night or maybe even this morning uh, yeah and you can see it's just a wasteland it is I don't know who actually owns this land I suspect it's the council but I just want to get your attention I'm just gonna run back down because I missed something get your attention and this is another thing that we thought would stop people from parking here and dumping their rubbish look at all that is this sign here monday to friday nine to ten one hour no return within one hour so i'm assuming they can only park here for one hour i don't mean i'm not really up on parking laws to be honest with you but i know you'll tell me in the comments and um, but yeah this time i am going to criticize the council 100 percent because they have ignored everything that we've reported to them absolutely everything they've, re they've just ignored they don't care uh, my wife's telling me watch out here but it is what it is isn't it uh, i'm not going to stop doing what i'm doing so all this is absolutely everywhere it is i looked all that there uh, glass everything you know when this that's the main road through shelton and then this is the road another main road it's in perfect view of everybody you know uh, but yeah look at this oh my god look at this is that that there is somebody's been doing some decorating now look and they've just come and dumped the decorating stuff around here you know i put the suggestion in making it access only because i think there's somebody in that end building over there um so access only would be the way forward for me cut most of this off. And, and it cut most of this off and get it cleaned up let's see let's see how it goes from there try summit is what i'm saying you know and even putting a suggestion out there they've ignored now we're going to go into here, into this, another bit of wasteland, which I don't know if it's council, if someone owns this. It's not, I mean, it is bad here. That there is a human shit. Sorry guys to show you that, but I want to give the, uh, the I want to show you what is here. Um, but like I said, we, me and my wife, we've been fighting the battle to get this cleaned up for a a long long time now way before last Christmas about halfway through last year and they haven't done anything I must say I've probably um, sent them I don't know 20 25 maybe even 30 emails now look at this guys I'm gonna walk into this and have a look my wife's telling me be careful she is damn right to tell me to be careful it's just an absolute mix of everything. These absolute dirty scumbags. I know it isn't the council dropping it, but is it their responsibility to try and do something to make it better and stop it happening again, is what I'm saying. You know, we've got a sort of a junkyard there sort of thing. Maybe some of this rubbish is coming from them. Because um, you can see that's a junkyard. These are, that's an old 
car part or something or some type of lorry maybe you know what could be done with all this wasteland for me they're not gonna do anything with this wasteland shut it off shut it off and don't give them the opportunity to actually dump all this here it's bad like i said we've been fighting for a while to get something done here um so uh, do you think mr wajir deserves an obe after he's letting this go on i don't think he does but yeah he must have seen it he must have seen the the uh he must have seen the emails so right my wife's just asking her uh, being asked what we are doing um yeah so we're just following the wasteland round and we can see absolutely disgusting that there looks like um sand in there sand that's a bit weird or oh, the amount of them um uh gas tooting things that they're taking is unbelievable here we have a number plate here uh, a broken number plate uh, and uh you know look at this tires everything absolutely everything everything and anything in here and then we're just going to go across there and have a quick look at this place here now on one of my other videos you'll see this place and it was a hell of a lot worse than this but um it has actually been cleaned up uh, believe it or not guys this this little bit here has been cleaned up but it's still absolutely shocking isn't it it's it's an environmental health hazard uh, i would probably say now, i'm just going to point out that just across there i'm not going to get too close because there's a woman waiting for the buzz there but just across there they have put a camera up but that camera only points like towards me here it's not getting over there um so i can't see what that camera does at all it seems just like a waste it seems like they just sort of going we've put a camera up we're pacifying you you know sort of thing um it's absolutely it's shocking and i think when we turned up we actually saw a guy before I started rolling the camera we actually saw a guy cleaning his car out uh, and then as soon as he saw me get the camera out that was it he was gone and um, but yeah as you can see it's just a, a wasteland that people have sort of taken advantage of really but yeah uh, maybe double yellow lines getting the parking man out here would stop them from parking here maybe permit only things like that i don't know give me a suggestion in the comments what you think they could do with something like this to stop that sort of stuff happening because it's got to have an effect on the environment it's got to have um you know the amount of rats that are probably around here is unbelievable um now i'm going to tell you that shelton that we're in is another multicultural area i should probably tell you i should probably describe it as um but i hope you guys sort of get it get what i'm saying there um but yeah there we go guys this is our second report on this area um still not getting anything done mr wazir obe who was the councillor for this area you have seen the emails from us you know that this is here and you aren't doing anything um and you should be ashamed of yourself and he doesn't deserve that obe in my opinion uh but that's just my opinion anyway guys uh i'm gonna get the hell out of here <laughs> uh before somebody starts on me i suppose um so if you've liked this video do give it the thumbs up remember guys the comment section is very important give me your ideas give me what you what you think tell me what you think things like that any ideas on what you would do with this sort of area 
things like that uh, but thanks for watching guys do do give us the thumbs up i'm not begging you for the thumbs up but please do give us the thumbs up if you don't mind because um, it helps the video a lot and i will see you on the next one